Hi, I'm going to be showing you how to use the new segmented timer tool for YouTube videos. If you need any pointers, there's a how to use section that has instructions for usage. Okay, I'm going to use my Maria Any% run to demonstrate. I'm going to copy the URL and post it in this box here, which is going to bring up the YouTube player for the video. Now we're going to be using the YouTube player for a timing. So it's important to know the shortcuts. Of course, we can go back and forward to go by five seconds. We can use J and L to go by 10 seconds. And the most important part is we want to be precise. So we want to be able to go frame by frame. Of course, uh, we do this with the YouTube player through the comma and period keys or the angle brackets. So I'm going to be demonstrating with my run with a few segments. So we want to find the start of this first segment that is automatically added when you start the tool. And the way we define it is we gain character control. So we see that when Maria starts crouching in, in here. So we find this first frame and this frame isn't counted towards time yet. So this is the start of the segment. And we do that by just clicking on this start time of the segment. We want to name it entrance. All right, so now we find the end. And now the way we define it for our runs is there are some duplicated frames at the end of these loading rooms in any loading screen. So we find the first frame that would be duplicated, which is this one. And we go forward by one frame so that this frame gets counted towards time and we click the end time for that segment it will get set and calculated now let's go forward alchemy lab and we're going to do the same thing now for these segments the first frame that gets counted is the first fade in frame from black screen so we do the same thing again. This is the first frame that would be duplicated to go forward by one and we set it. Now let's do a couple more just for some different examples. There's a loading screen here in the middle of this area because this game is kind of weird. So this will be key Two. and this will be the start and now for this teleportation because there is no normal load we define it a little bit different so we use the pillar from the teleport and the last frame when there is a uh, white beam is the last frame of the segment so we go forward and we set the end and, uh, and on the other side The first frame when there is no white beam is the first frame of this segment. Now again we find the one that gets duplicated. This is the one we go forward one. Okay, now let's just find the very end of the run. Of course, in a normal run all of the segments would be timed. This is reverse keep one. Okay, so let's just find the very, very end of the run, which would be this segment after this loading screen in here. There we go. This is the start. Let's name it Chaff. And now the fight with Chaff is going to be one, two, three. Now the way we define it is we look at his orbs and when they stop spinning, he is dead. So this is the frame and we go forward by one to count it. All right, so this is our example timed run and you will see you have two times here, real time and segments total time. Real time is from the beginning of the very first segment to the end of the very last segment. So this would be the RTA time when it comes to a speed run. And this is the time of every segment combined. 
for example, if you want to do a loadless uh, timing, we would want to time all the segments and this will be the actual um, loadless time at the very end. And of course, uh, we can also save this to a spreadsheet file and we can also import that in uh, Google Sheets, for example. Import data. Did it not save? What happened? I think the file didn't actually save yet. <laughs> Let's try again. Insert new sheet. There it is. So this is identical to what we had here. All right. Peace.